So it's playoff weekend here at uh, Buckeye Barbecue. Uh, good luck to everybody's teams out there, unless you uh, happen to be a Kansas City Chiefs fan, then I hope you lay a giant egg. But uh, we're gonna do some uh, appetizers for uh, football games uh, in some videos now. And uh, today we're gonna do a sausage fatty. It's gonna be wrapped in a bacon weave with a cream cheese mixture in the center. So uh, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get our cream cheese filling mixture going here. I've got a half a block of cream cheese. And uh, while we're getting this spread out and mixed a little, uh, first of all, this has been setting out, so it's come up to room temperature, so it's a lot more pliable. Uh, you can do this with, uh, you know, double the ingredients to make a real big fatty. I'm going to do a smaller one just because we're not feeding a lot of people. So I've got half a block of cream cheese. I've got about a quarter cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I also have one uh, diced up green onion, the green and the white part. I have a jalapeno pepper, uh, all chopped up, diced up. It's a whole pepper. Uh, you could use pickled jalapenos here. Um, I prefer the fresh for this because it'll uh, uh, they'll soften nicely and meld with that cream cheese, and I like that. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to add just a little bit, no measurement, of a favorite barbecue sauce. I'm not even sure what this one is, but because it's in a squeeze bottle, I'm sure I like it. And we're also going to add just a little bit of Cajun seasoning. I'm a real big fan of this uh, How to Barbecue Right Malcolm's King Craw. And we're just going to add a little bit. That was maybe a quarter teaspoon, something like that. And we're just going to mix this all around. Until everything's incorporated. All right, there we go. So we're gonna come back in just a minute and move on to the next step, which is gonna be uh, setting this uh, cream cheese mixture in kind of a roll shape. So we'll bring you back in just a minute. Okay, so we've got a piece of Glad Wrap out here and I've got my cream cheese mixture that we just mixed up and I'm just going to get it out of the bowl and onto the Glad Wrap. Uh, you could do this a number of different ways. Wax paper would work. I've done it in Ziploc bags before even. Uh, we're just gonna form it into a roll. There we go. So again, no trick to this. You just want to roll it over, form it into a roll, kind of pack it together, make sure uh, it's kind of an even thickness all the way through, and then just keep rolling it up. That should be pretty good there. And now we're gonna get this in the refrigerator just to set up and kind of uh, uh, harden up again, just like the original block of cream cheese was. And then we'll come back and we'll get our fatty made. All right, we're gonna get this uh, rolled up. So I've got a pound of sausage, um, just a regular breakfast sausage. Uh, I made it from ground pork, but you can use a, uh, a tube of sausage that you get at the grocery store just as easy. I just didn't happen to have one of those. Uh, so we're going to season the sausage before we do anything else. I'm going to use a little honey hog for a, just a little sweetness. I'm not going to use much, but I think it'll uh, contrast with the jalapenos as well as the uh, uh, King Cross seasoning nicely. So I'm just going to put a little bit on what's going to end up being the inside of the fatty. So there we go. And now I have my cream cheese mixture, which has been in the refrigerator for maybe 20 minutes. I actually put it in the freezer for the last few just to, to push it along a little faster. So we're just going to try to find the edge here. Um, and we're gonna struggle with it. And we're gonna shorten this video by doing this part off camera because I cannot find the edge. So we'll bring you right back. Okay, so we got our uh, 
Uh, cream cheese mixture unwrapped from the saran wrap. That was a train wreck you didn't need to see. So we are back. We've got the uh, cream cheese mixture just at the edge of the sausage. And we're going to use this wax paper here that I have to just start rolling that up. And by the way, notice that uh, we have some room on the edge of each side of the uh, cream cheese mixture. And you want that because you want to be able to cover the ends as well. So as we roll, and it doesn't have to be super tight, but you don't want it loose either. We're just going to peel back the uh, wax paper. There we go. And then we can just use our hands to kind of center it up. And we'll want to cover the ends. And then it's ready for the next step. Seal that edge. There we go. That's perfect. Almost perfect. Now it's perfect. So we will bring you back in just a minute and we will get this ready to go. Okay, so we're going to do our bacon weave here. So I've got, uh, in this case, seven strips of bacon, I believe, laid out. Uh, eight, actually. So we're going to take every other one and just pull them down like this. And I do have the, the bacon close together just to make sure we get full coverage. And now I'm going to take my first piece of bacon to go across just like that and then we will fold our bacon back up and then we'll take the opposite piece and we'll pull it back this way and by the way you don't want to use thick cut bacon as much as I love thick cut bacon you don't want to use it for this uh, the bacon will not render and cook fast enough the inside will be way ahead of the outside if you use thick cut bacon uh, trust me learn from my bad experience I did that once without thinking and uh, it didn't turn out very well so just use the normal bacon and again we're just going to do the opposite one now and do our next piece across and you just want to do this until you have a nice weave the whole way and so I won't keep you here for this whole thing we'll come back when this weave is done and we'll go on to the next step okay so here is our bacon weave with our sausage fatty ready to go on the edge so we're just going to roll this up and again we're going to use the wax paper and kind of peel it back as we go and, and we do want this to be nice and snug the bacon is around the uh, sausage wrap but it's not hard to do just roll it and peel back there we go and I did uh, purposely have the uh, sausage roll, uh, not quite as wide as the bacon, so we can uh, wrap the bacon around the end just like a present. There we go. And you can even put a toothpick or two in there to hold it on if you want. I usually don't, it, it really does fine. Uh, but there we go. So we are going to get that on the smoker here in a little while. I'm actually gonna let it set up in the fridge just a bit and then we'll bring you back and we'll get this thing cooked up and sliced and uh, it is a winner for sure. Okay, so we have our sausage and bacon fatty ready to go. We're gonna put it in the uh, cooker. We've got the uh, temperature on the cooker set at 325. Uh, and really, if it, uh, if it goes a little above that, that's fine. Uh, I actually set it at 325 instead of 300 because it's so cold out. Uh, so I, de I definitely want to get it up in the 300 range at least. And, and if it's above that, that's great too. So uh, we're just going to put this in. I do have this on a chicken rack just to make it easy to uh, remove later or I might end up turning it at least once during the cook. So we're gonna get her in there and shut the door. We will come back probably in, uh, I'd 
let's say 45 minutes give or take and we might spin it around and then we're going to go ahead and get a temp probe in it. Uh, it's important to get this up to temperature 165 since we have that ground pork there, uh, the pork sausage. So we'll definitely want to make sure we hit that 165 range uh, for food safety. So we'll bring you back. Okay, we've been 45 minutes. So we're going to take a look at our roll here. Okay, bacon rendering, crisping up, looking good. I'm going to go ahead and flip this 180 degrees there, get it back down on the grate. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm sure we're not close yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, probe kind of in the center. Again, we're looking for about 165 internal because we do have that ground pork. Um, looks like we're about 115, about 113 right now. So we got a little ways to go for sure uh, and we'll monitor the temperature and come back at 165 and take this out. So we will see you in a bit. Okay, we've just crossed over 155 on our fatty here. So I'm going to put this on a uh, aluminum pan so we can sauce this up and I don't uh, make a giant mess of my smoker. So I'm going to leave the thermometer in. I've got some barbecue sauce here. I don't even know what kind this is, but if it's in this squirt bottle, it means I liked it. So. Just gonna add a little bit to the top there and then use our basting brush and just spread it around. So the last 10 degrees here, we're gonna let this sauce set and then we'll uh, take this inside and let it rest. So we are almost there. Cannot wait to cut into this. This is going to be so freaking good. All right, there we go. We'll get this back in. We'll let that sauce set, let it come up its last uh, 10 degrees there, and we'll pull it off. We'll see you in a few. Okay, we are at 165 and turtle in the center. I am gonna check this with my thermopen to make sure, but I am pretty certain we're there all the way through. Oop. So we're gonna get this inside and let it cool. And uh, cool a little bit anyway, rest for uh, probably 10 minutes and then we're gonna cut into this and uh, see how we did. I think it's gonna be outstanding. So we'll bring you back. All right, we have our sausage and bacon and cream cheese fatty here. We got some jalapenos in there, some, some good rub that uh, we use a little barbecue sauce on the inside and the outside so we are ready to cut into this it's been resting here about 15 minutes something like that it looks great i'm just going to cut this right down the center before i get my hand messy maybe i need a drink of this beer all right let's go i'm going to just cut it right here oh wow Maybe I'll just go ahead and cut a slice. Oh man, that looks good. So you can see that cream cheese in there, that filling with the jalapenos, a little color from the barbecue sauce and the rub. I cannot wait to have a bite of this. So, oh wow, that one looks really good too. So I tell you what, I'm gonna just, uh, adjust the camera. We'll try this on camera. It looks great. And then I think my family will want some too. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Beer really does go well with this. I've got a Sam Adams winter lager here. It's probably my favorite Sam Adams because I'm not a giant Sam Adams person. So I'm just cutting a bite here of that slice out of the center. Good amount of jalap jalapenos. Mm. 
This is such a great appetizer to do on a playoff football Saturday. Tastes so good. The bacon and the barbecue sauce and the uh, sausage. Great pairing with the cream cheese and jalapenos. And really not that hard. Takes a little time, but so worth doing. Probably cooked for about two hours. That's going to depend on a lot of factors. You should probably at least plan for 90 minutes, but might even go up to about two hours like this one did. Take it to 165, let it rest, and then cut it into slices. Can't beat it. Good luck to your uh, NFL playoff team this weekend, unless, of course, you're a Chiefs fan. We will see you next time on Buckeye Barbecue. If you do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. See you next time.